Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 3rd, 2020. So yesterday we had a significant pop-up and those bulls were able to hold on throughout the day, even though there was considerable price volatility. And this morning, well, we have another big gap uh, facing the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition, election day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, everyone, we're looking at another big market gap. Asian markets were up overnight. European markets are surging this morning. And U.S. futures are pointing to a substantial gap up in the open. Now, one of the things we talk about a lot in right-way options is um, a phrase we use over and over is that gaps are gifts. And today may be just exactly that gift that you might be looking for. We are gapping up and pushing right into price resistance in the chart with an uncertain day ahead of us and a day that we know that there is going to be significant news uh, that could move the market around. So it may be one of those great opportunities to just take that gift, unwrap it, stow that money safely into your account and let the crazy volatility of election day uh, move on without you having to take risk. Just something to consider. I, I have to tell you, um, I'll show you a trade here in just a little bit. I'm considering doing that myself um, this morning. So let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart. You know, it really comes down to the, this reminds me of an old movie. Um, I can just kind of envision the market as a 44 Magnum pointing my way and Clint Eastwood saying, so do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> Well, do you? And that's kind of the attitude that we're going to have to take today if we decide to trade as, uh, particularly as swinger position traders. If you're a very adept, very experienced uh, day trader, this could be just the, uh, you know, great environment because of the crazy volatility that could come um, throughout the day and over the night. Just remember um, the Trump election in 2017, we had thousand point swings overnight really big price action if you remember the obama election um we had tremendous price volatility after um that election so just kind of keep that in mind and plan your risk carefully and uh, decide whether or not you want to just roll the dice place your bets and roll the dice and hope for a good outcome for me i appreciate my money just a little bit too much to be very involved in that at all in fact um, i'm about as small in my account as i've been in a long long time now that doesn't mean you have to be but i am closer to cash than I've ever been because it is crazy wild right now and anything is possible over the next 24 hours. Let's take a look at the technicals here of the chart. First off, we're going to notice that this gap up, and by the way, in, in TC2000, if you guys uh, don't have TC2000, this is just one of those fantastic programs. I highly, highly recommend this program. But one of the great things that they've done here recently is they show us the pre-market activity. So this candle right here is showing us the pre-market activity in the market. And you can see that we're pushing right up into that price resistance here in the chart. We have literally gone in just three trading days from a extremely oversold condition to very likely an overbought condition with these big gaps. So consider that carefully as you plan your risk. Now, technically speaking, we still have lots of trouble here in the chart. And let's notice that that price resistance could um, stop us. We also have a downtrend, we're still working here in that chart. So any rally back up into this region is just nothing more than that opportunity where we could run into that um, defensive line of the bears and see more sellers. So be careful there when you look at the technicals of the chart. If we take a look at our moving averages, notice that our moving averages are also showing us that little bit of a problem here in that the 50 day moving average is rolling over. So as we approach that downtrend in the chart, we may be just approaching that 50 day 
um, resistance in that chart. So be very, very careful. Now, of course, FOMC coming up this week, if they were to lower rates or, or spend a whole bunch more money into the market, that could certainly have a major effect and move things around. If we got a stimulus deal, that certainly could move us around. But just consider the wild volatility, the uncertainty of this election, and be very, very careful as we approach those resistance levels. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, very similar situation we are gapping up this morning right into a lot of price congestion in the chart now the good news is is we did hold this area as support you can see we got just a little teeny tiny lower high there but notice that that 50-day moving average has flattened off and started to roll over and we have a downtrend resistance right here lining up as well so anywhere between this area and this area we run into that potential rally back failure so watch that closely don't change into a market gapping into price resistance. Let's take a look at the cues. Interestingly enough, the NASDAQ is not doing much today. Those big techs struggled hard yesterday, struggled to hold up, and the NASDAQ is not showing us a whole lot of bullishness here this morning. So let's watch that carefully. Um, and keep in mind that if we had some significant selling coming in on those big techs, it would be really difficult because of their the major weight that they hold in the indexes. If they can't rally, it's going to be difficult for the rest of the market to lift up. So watch that close. Now, we also have those same technical problems here in the chart. A little bit better here in the NASDAQ, as you can see. But we do have some price resistance right here in the chart, right along that 50-day moving average. And let's keep in mind that we still have that downtrend in place. So fairly significant level right up in here that we'll want to watch closely if that NASDAQ does start to perk up um, into that uh, resistance level of the chart. And then we have IWM. Now IWM has held up better than the other indexes and almost surprisingly so um, held up better. And you can see we're gapping significantly. We're breaking above that 50 day moving average, which is a good sign. But let's notice that we're gapping right up into a significant level of price resistance in that chart. So Keep that in mind. And by the way, resistance beyond that really grows heavy, um, just a little bit higher. So watch that close in the chart as we gap up this morning. Let's take a look at the VIX. This I thought was kind of interesting yesterday. We would have expected with a 400 point gap, we would have expected that the um, VIX would have pulled back significantly yesterday, but it didn't. And as a matter of fact, it just kind of languished around and just chopped around. So what we still have here in this chart is we have a rising trend in the VIX. And with the uncertainty of the market, um, that could be interesting. Now, hopefully we'll get more of a pullback on that VIX today with this big 400 point move. But we might want to keep in mind that possibility that we've gone from oversold to overbought in such a quick period of time that we could see those profit takers coming in, getting out of the way ahead of the uncertainty of the election volatility. That could mean that we could actually get a gap down this morning on this and through the day rally back up. So watch that closely. The VIX could be um, helpful in uh, showing us that risk should we see some fear coming into the market um, heading into the close of the day. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 um, was has really helped us out throughout this, showing us these overbought, oversold conditions. And that's really all it's good for. It doesn't tell us the direction or when it's going to move, but it shows us when we've reached extremes in the market. Notice that we were at an extreme down here just a couple of days ago. And now here we are up here mid-range in that chart. A 400 point gap this morning is likely going to push us clear up into this potential area. So we could have, we could have zoomed in just uh, two days, actually three, bouncing off of the um, lows on Friday. Zoomed from a extreme oversold condition down here to an extreme overbought condition in just three days. So be really, really careful. And that's one of those things when I say gaps are gifts, it may be a great opportunity to just take some profits. So watch that carefully as we head into the uncertainty of this election. 
let's take a look at our economic calendar today and we do have some things on the economic calendar that we want to pay attention to um, beyond the obviousness of, of the election we have motor vehicle sales this morning we'll want to keep an eye on that and also factory orders not big market movers today but we'll want to pay attention to that and then just keep in mind we're going to run into that choppy uncertainty possibility of the FOMC meeting coming up on Thursday. Um, and who knows what kind of market reaction we'll get after we start seeing the results from the election and what could occur after that point so watch that closely we've got a lot of things yet this week to really move the market around that we'll want to pay attention to so keep that in mind on the earnings front today we have about 90 companies reporting earnings and let's take a look at some of those earnings and just realize guys that there's more than I can really cover here in the potential notables. So if you want to see the full list of what I've come up for notables for today, you might want to click that link that's just below the title of this video that will send you back to the morning blog and you can get that full list of notable reports this morning. Let's take a look at like BHC, BHC um, reporting today. Notice that it is gapping up this morning. We're looking pretty strong here on BHC. Got a little higher low. We do have significant resistance in this chart, but it is interesting that we've broken those downtrends here in the chart and we're trying to show that bullishness. So you might want to keep an eye on healthcare, healthcare care related stocks could see nice little bullish move um, starting to happen this morning there take a look at Expedia um, Expedia um, has held up um, EXPD not Expedia I'm sorry expediters um, internationally you can see they've held up very very well um, holding very strong in this chart but they broke down here recently and we're struggling with a price resistance level so let's keep an eye on this as this reports today this could have a very bullish effect because we're wedged here between a support level and a resistance level if we can get a little bit of bullishness in that chart we might pop back up uh, however if the um, earnings disappoint watch this very carefully stocks stocks that disappoint in this environment get heavily punished so if we break that support right there we could see some pretty strong selling coming into that chart let's take a look at cc cc is reporting today and looks like we're getting a little bit of a lift here this morning that's been holding on to a support level in the chart but unfortunately still fighting a bit of a downtrend here in that chart if we can pop up through there maybe break through some resistance levels on a good earnings report this may have an opportunity to see some upside watch that close um, how about gain gain will be reporting this morning this has been a awful 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 downtrend um, in this stock um, for something to have the title of gain um, and doing nothing but showing losses it's kind of an oxymoron but as you can see gain trying to push up a little bit this morning with a gap up but we will be gapping right into that price resistance of the chart so be very very careful um, it it is reporting today looks like we're getting a nice little pop-up this morning now i can't tell you if that's a result of the earnings report or just the bullishness showing up in the market this morning but let's watch that closely as we push right back up here into this congestion whoops uh, congestion of this chart we have significant price congestion right through this area so watch that closely as we push up into that chart how about wayfair wayfair will be reporting today looks like it's getting a nice little pop and gap up this morning watch that as we push right back into the price resistance of that chart we need to break on through there we do have that opportunity holding that support a little bit of a wedge pattern if we can get up through there that could show us some bullishness and last but not least um, let's take a look at lpx louisiana pacific um, we know building has been um, extremely strong here in the United States um, looking good so um, we might want to keep an eye on this Louisiana Pacific has been in a bit of a town downtrend as you can see breaking this support here and now rallying back into price resistance is a bit of a concern if we can push on through there and hold that area for support then we might see some extension to the upside but um, watch that carefully we could fail right along that resistance line and with that lower low 
that possibility of a lower high and uh, moving on into the downtrend. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. And what I'd like to do is I would like to um, show you a few stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, if you guys could help me out just a little bit, if you find these videos to be helpful and useful, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, if you feel the video was worthy click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment i want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that my crazy life here lately has made it so i read all of those comments and i try to put um, a notification that I've, I've read it and heard them and those kind of things but i haven't had time to answer a lot of these um, it's just been a little bit overwhelming the response to the videos um, and um, running out of time but thank you everyone who does do that i truly truly appreciate it and i'll try to get back to answering those comments just as soon as i can i want to um, um, also ask everyone if you um, have um, uh, a social feed that you use, please feel free to share this video out there with any other folks that may find it useful. So how about we take a look at some of these stocks setting up, but I gotta tell you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this with a, um, uh, with my fingers crossed, uh, because I don't personally recommend people trying to trade um, this crazy volatility that could occur today. But there are some stocks that you might want to put on your list and keep an eye on for um, that time when we get past this crazy volatility. One of those stocks is one that I hold, and that is FCX. And I got to tell you, FCX is doing really, really well. And with this market gap up this morning, I am seriously considering the possibility of just taking the profits on this trade and walking away and then wait for that volatility to ensue and then look for an opportunity for re-entry. But FCX has been doing very, very well. And as you can see, um, we alerted right here on this chart and we've got a nice profit in this trade. And we ran this trade from here up um, looking really good on this chart. We made quite a little bit of money on this this year. So watch that closely. Beautiful upside trend. And I think there still is a good story for copper here in the United States. You might want to take a look at some retailers. Surprisingly, retailing has been holding up quite well. We've seen LB in here. I've mentioned this the last few days. This has been locked in a rather tight consolidation in here. And yesterday, pulled back just a little tiny bit to test that support. And now this morning we're seeing a little bit of bullishness in that LB chart. So watch that in here. This is one of those patterns where we can pop out of this box. If we get buyers showing up up here, that would suggest we're gonna resume the uptrend to the upside. So keep an eye on that. LB might be one you wanna consider. Take a look at GPS. GPS is another one that yesterday saw some good strength, a beautiful pattern in here. Nice little upside trend, nice little hooking pattern here on that chart strong, strong bullishness here yesterday, pushing on through, looking to the upside. Um, very nice looking chart overall and trying to follow through today. So watch that closely. Whether you want to chase that trade or not, I don't know. Watch that carefully. Pretty, um, pretty nice looking chart overall. We're also seeing stocks in other areas um, do, uh, well, some pullbacks, but we might want to watch them for support levels. Take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's pushing back here, as you can see, a big strong rally in this chart, and now pushing back here, trying to hold onto some price support and the downtrend here in this chart. So if we could catch a little bit of bullishness in here, um, we may follow this upside trend um, and move up, but it's a little bit uh, it's a little sketchy here, so you're going to have to watch that one pretty closely in that chart. Other places that you might look uh, for some potential trades, um, if you're looking for short trades, um, there are substantial places out there to look for short trades. Take a look at Amazon. Um, 
Amazon showing significant pressure, breaking this lower high, and we're pushing into a, a, an interesting level of price support. Should we hold that price support in here, um, the selling wave may be over. But let's remember any rally back into that downtrend resistance and the price resistance here in the chart could be that next wave down here for Amazon. Keep a close eye on that. Running into a little bit of trouble. Take a look at Facebook. Facebook yesterday showing signs of trouble, breaking a little bit of support. Um, this is running in a bit of a downtrend here. A little bit of trouble here. If we can't get these moving, um, we could have some of those big techs following through to the downside if you're looking for a short trade. You might um, take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft is right on the edge right on the edge of a significant level of price support right here in the chart but we are definitely holding into a short-term downtrend this is one of those charts that could go either direction if these big techs can't get moving we could have some more downside in these charts watch that closely other places that you might want to look that were kind of interesting yesterday we saw some financials trying to perk up now we need these financials to get us going and this may be very very helpful to the IWM index take a look at that moving up now we are pushing up into this downtrend resistance here on XLF and if we can pop through there and hold there may be some opportunity for upside if we happen to hit that resistance and see selling coming in watch that closely and you know you can see the same kind of charting if you look at the stocks that make this up JP Morgan pushing back up into the price resistance of the chart um, Goldman Sachs um, pushing up into some price resistance. BAC pushing right up into some price resistance. So if we can get those financials showing some bullishness and breaking through some of those downtrend resistance levels, we could see some upside uh, moves. It was also interesting to me that I saw some big divvy payers like AT&T responding strongly the last few days, pushing back up toward these downtrend resistance levels. This may be one of those safety plays where folks may be rushing in and it could be a bit of a value play as you can see AT&T has pushed down into a major support level in the chart and trying to rally up if you're looking for a longer term hold AT&T might be a place to look so a few charts for you to consider a lot of caution I would suggest here as we move forward in the day because anything is possible with such a news driven day um, in the market. Thanks everyone for being here. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Might be better to just pop some popcorn, put up your feet and watch this election. Um, the, the show could be interesting today. Y'all take care. Have a great one. Be safe. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.